You know, but a lot of people think that they should run, and the reality is, don't run. The run running is going to make things a lot worse. So it's you know, fun fun in a bar to talk about. Oh, you're going to run. Or how would you run? Or where would you go? It's like a non extradition country. It's all this nonsense. The reality is, it's not going to solve anything. That's going to get it's going to get you into a whole hell of a lot more trouble because. First off, they're going to put a deserter warrant out for you. That warrant's not going to go away. That warrant's going to go in all 50 states. They're going to flag your passport, flag your driver's license. You're not going to be able to travel out of the country. And they're they're going to subpoena all your bank records and all of your credit cards. They're going to find out where you're going to be at. So unless you've got half a million dollars in cash piled up and you're going to only use cash and in the world we live in, number one, I don't know any service members with a half a million bucks or even 50,000 bucks in cash lying around. No one's got, no one has that. And number two, you can't live, we don't live in a cashless world. You can't roll up and just buy your plane tickets cash. And even if you could, that buying a ticket in cash is going to probably flag you if you're not already flagged. So you have all of those issues there. They're going to they're gonna put people on your loved ones. So if you want to call a loved one, call your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, your sister, your family, they're going to find out where you're at. They will find you. The military's got a lot of resources that are at their disposal. They're going to work with inter- other agencies to find you. Then when they do find you, you're going to be arrested. You're going to be placed in pretrial confinement. You're going to be deemed a flight risk, and you're not going to get out. So whatever charges you were facing, now they're compounded by the fact that you're going to have charges for fleeing apprehension, charges for a whole host of things, a creative ways the military is going to charge you. So even if you could beat the initial charges that you were scared of, now you've got these other charges, which are going to be incredibly difficult to beat because it's not that freaking hard to prove that you weren't there or you ran away. It's not going to be that hard to prove that. And so now you're going to be in prison for that offense, and it's going to make it more difficult to have to beat the underlying offenses. So nothing really good comes out of you know, running. If you're scared and you're worried that you're, if you're innocent, if you didn't do what you're accused of, the solution isn't to run because you're going to have you're going to be running for the rest of your life, and you're going to have no life whatsoever, and you're going to get caught eventually. The solution is to go out and actually get the evidence you need to win. Find a lawyer that knows how to fight for you. Find someone who knows how to try cases and tell your story of innocence and go to court and be proud to go to court. And don't be scared of going to look at that as an opportunity to clear your name. And if you have an attorney that doesn't know how to clear your name, get a different one. If the option is, well, my lawyer sucks and I need to run, get a different lawyer. Don't run and get someone that's not scared to go to court and put your case on and go win your case and clear your name. And if you're in a position where you committed the offense that you're accused of, you have the moral and legal right to fight those charges and make the government prove that beyond a reasonable doubt. And if they can't, if they can't prove those charges, that's not on you. That's not on your lawyer that's losing sleep at night. That's to be the prosecutor who didn't prosecute the case to the fullest extent because it's their obligation. And even if you are convicted of it, then there's going to be a sentencing hearing. And I'm confident that you have factors that are extenuating and mitigating. Perhaps you had a really difficult child. Perhaps there's a reason you committed the offense that you did. No one commits offense for no reason or very rarely, in particular in the military. We don't, we're not surrounded by sociopaths and psychopaths. So there's a crime that's committed. Usually there's a reason behind it. And we can present that evidence, extenuation and mitigation. And typically it's not as bad as you think it's going to be. And so in a case, you know, if you abscond and you do an empty chair, you maybe you're getting 20, 30 years in confinement. But if you actually took that case to trial, maybe you would have gotten six. I'm making these numbers up. And maybe you would have gotten six years of that. You do four and you're out in four years. And yeah, that four years is going to suck, but it's better than the alternative of having a 10, 20, 30, 40 year sentence hanging over your head, a deserter warrant and being, you know, having to lay low for the rest of your life and live on the little cash you have. I mean, so don't do it. The bottom line I'm giving you is don't run. If you're thinking about running, um, you know, straight up talk to your defense attorney about it and you know don't say i'm gonna run but think about the reasons why you're considering running you're probably running because you don't have confidence in your lawyer you're probably running because you don't have confidence in the system you're probably running because you don't have confidence in your ability to get acquitted or to get a fair sentence and all of that and all of that can be solved by again whether it's having the right strategy whether that's a strategy to win a trial to win its sentencing and having the right legal team representing you. If you're facing a court martial and your circumstances is so bad that you've considered running and not showing up for trial, don't do it. The best solution for you is to figure out an actual strategy to win a trial. Don't run. I can walk you through this entire process and to, before it gets worse than it already is. Give me a call at 813-669-3500 and let's talk it through.